if you earn little at this time and you cannot save, when you earn more, they find it difficult to save. And that is just the basic truth because your expenses will increase, your um, responsibility, they will also increase as well. meet your service site automatic or scheduled transfer from your main account to another where you won't search this is very very important like i chose it at my first point this is very good because once you start spending the money you find it difficult to save and that is why they say save first spend the rest not spend first when you when you spend first you find it difficult to actually save at the end and I said, I tried something. Um, there was a time I tried, okay, I'll remove the money myself. But it doesn't work effectively because <laughs> I don't know why I find it difficult. Maybe because I'm emotional. I'm like, if I remove 100 k from this money to save, now like how much is left? Do you get that kind of scenario? So it is very important as an individual that you automate the reset automatic transfer. And you can also use some, we have some applications and we have business organizations that are actually helping people in order to ensure that they are efficient with saving we have the likes of carry wise we have the likes of piggy vest that you cannot be diligent or um be godly about this you can use their apps register with them so they can help you to track your savings and one we're talking about today is maintain records so this is very important as well this usually helps you to keep track of your spending and it's helping you not to overspend. Most times, most of us, especially in this Nigeria, like we, we feel like, why should I maintain record? Like, I'm not stingy, Coco. No, it's not about being stingy or something. It just helps you to understand where you channel the money into every month. It's helping you to have a basic understanding. Okay, this is how I'm spending my money. You don't have to be extravagant before you miss money or before you miss spend. Yes. I... I personally, I can say I'm not extravagant, but there are times that without record, you just you just realize that the money is gone before the end of the month. Like, what did I buy? I don't know. <laughs> I drew a chance. Like, you can have, um, say, fifty percent goes into your savings. You have another percent into your emergency fund. You have another percent to um, daily expenses, to grocery and home. This will actually help you to keep enough track and the good thing is it is not compulsory that okay because 50 groceries say 20 percent going to that it doesn't mean next month it has to be 20 again you can actually be flexible about it but the major aim is to ensure that you have a proper record or you have a proper way you know that okay this is how i'm channeling the money so moving on to the next one is don't borrow to spend don't use what you don't have. Wait until you can afford it. And if you can't buy it twice, it means you cannot afford it. Yeah, I said what I said. So don't put a lot of us these days. We try to look rich. We just want to look rich. We want to, because on social media, everybody is looking like, everybody is looking classy. Everybody is looking fine. And then you feel like, okay, you can just tag along and just, there is no point borrowing to look rich or borrowing to spend this will not help your saving status like it's to diminish it and there's one thing i said too that there's no point putting yourself into cage of your friend that is ceremonial you have to you have to bash your be you have to do these things you can learn to say no politely when you know that okay for that month the budget as you like you you're done with the budget and for you not to overspend, you just say no politely. Oh, we have an outing and we want you to go. I'm sorry, I might not be able to. You don't have to tell them that you are broke or something. Just tell them you might not be able to go. You have one or two things to and you get it. <laughs> you get it now. So, so it is very important that you don't borrow to spend. Don't spend once you don't have. As in, I, I can't just overemphasize this because it, it's odd. And this, this is how it works. You borrow this month to, to spend. When you get your income the following month, you take 20% out of the income to be pay what you've borrowed. And at the end, 80% is not enough for you. So you have to borrow another 20% from someone again in order to balance up. 
then the following month you will pay again. You know, that kind of life is not healthy. And that is why from scratch, just, just stay on your lane. And the next point is build emergency fund. So it is very important that you build emergency fund. I really don't like the idea of someone saying you have headache and you don't have money to get drugs. Like why would why would that be? And it, it doesn't mean you have to pick from your savings. So it is very important as an individual for you to build emergency fund. You earn twenty k in a month. It stands actually because twenty k is too small. You earn twenty k in a month. At least save like. 200 naira put it inside the emergency fund in case in case your phone fall into water what will you do you go depressed in case um you have a generator it breaks down in case you're driving a car can you have 10,000 i'll be driving a car okay <laughs> in case you're driving a car and your car develop faults what happens so it is very necessary that you build emergency fund it is not because you are thinking that something bad will happen to you no don't be too religious about these things it's just for you to have a proper way and not uh, not destructing your savings at that moment the next thing is save on food oh my god when i wrote this point there i was literally laughing at myself but it is actually the truth don't crucify me yet. I have my reasons for saying this. So save on food, and I said eat alone. Like eat, <laughs> quote and unquote, eat alone. So rather than eating out on daily basis, it is best to have your meal prepared from home. <clears throat> you can make a, a, a you can make a week's meal and freeze it up. Rather than it's cheaper than eating and eating junks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story, story. So this is practical example as nigerians that we have okay for instance you you go you are out um no, no, not not even on a date now on normal work basis if you go out and eat with friends this is don't deceive yourself if you go out and eat with friends and when you get there you realize that okay one of your friends is ordering for chicken another one is ordering as soon another one is but you know that the normal you alone would have just ordered for two beef and planting but because you're with friends you feel like i don't come to this life to suffer you join the clique it's actually good to eat what you like the first day the second day it happens the third day consecutively like that and like that before you know it you are already overspending on food and so but if, if you had gone like <laughs> how can this eat alone i don't know why it's always funny to me if i just eat alone jay jay you realize that you are able to save and um, you save effectively. But the major thing in this point is save on food rather than eating junks. Normally, junks is not it's not LG because it has its own side effect. So rather than eating junk, rather than eating out, it is better you prepare your meal and you eat from home, whichever way. There was a time I actually made analysis on how much you spend outside, but I will not go into that today like how much you spend outside literally and the next one is buy what you need and not what you want I hope you're getting it clearly please let's type yes if you are getting it so i don't feel like i'm talking alone please type yes if you are following if you are following true please say yes so i don't feel like i'm alone here i've not seen any yes yet I'm waiting for the yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I've seen my yes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm not alone. So buy what you need, not what you want. It is very important that you buy what you need and what you want, and not what you want, rather. So I will tell you that, do you know that shoe, a pair of shoe can be a need and it can also be a want. Depends on the person. For instance, I have an interview I want to go for. I don't have any pair of shoe I am going to wear. At that moment, that shoe is a need. I need it at that moment. And so I need to get it. But for instance, again, 
I'm actually working. I'm a working class babe, as in. And um, I have like 16 pairs of shoes in my wardrobe. But I followed my friends um, for outing. And I saw a nice shoe. I'm like, wow, this is so lovely. I think I should get this. At that moment, that is just a want. It is not a need. And eventually, I might just buy it. And after wearing it for one day or two, this is something we can relate with, right? After wearing it once or twice, you realize that you don't want it again. You don't just need it. Now, the thing is not to, you are reluctant to dash it out. You, can, you cannot wear it. You're just letting the shoe suffer. Do you get these are, the, these are ways that we just waste money unconsciously. So learn to differentiate your needs Learn to differentiate your needs and your wants. Sometimes it should can be a need, blah, blah, blah. I've said that. So we must understand that this is what we need and this is what we want. Okay, I think my time is up now because we need to, our business conductor is here. And we need to give them space. We need to clear road for them. Okay, so the last point I'll be talking about is know what works for you. Someone said that, okay, I use cash. Some people say I use card. That when I have enough cash, when I have enough cash at hand, I spend more. Why some people, it is very easy for them to just fling their card to, um, to the receptionist or anybody and just say, okay, you can just take it. How much, how much is my charge? Um, 50K, 100K, take it off. Why some people, it is very hard for them to just fling their card. They prefer to use cash. Some people, they find it hard to use cash because so know what works for you. Anyone that is harder, choose it. So if you know that it is hard for you to spend money on card, then start using cards. Don't use cash because even if, because using cash, you begin to spend more. Do you get it? So know what works for you. Yes, you'll be